Hi, in this video we will see a topic uh, that comes under the new bond uh, known as uh, KMC care that is Kankaru Mother Care. Uh, Kankaru Mother Care it is a powerful and easy method to care the newborn in order to bring the physiological development of the newborn and uh, this will have a benefit for the mother also. Uh, they will have an attachment of mother and the baby. Uh, keep the baby on the mother's chest to maintain a skin to skin contact wrapping the baby around the mother's chest level. Uh, so what is the meaning of Kangaroo mother care? Uh, Kangaroo mother care it is a uh, procedure to uh, make a skin to skin contact uh, continuously uh, by wrapping the baby in order to improve the warmth, uh, increases the initiation of uh, breastfeeding and uh, early discharge from the hospital. So history if you see uh, this was uh, presented by Ray Benares in uh, Colombia. Uh, why because there uh, that time there was insufficiency of uh, incubator uh, for the preterm baby care. So that time they have uh, found this is an easy and cost effective method and uh, stable uh, preterm newborns can be used this Kangaroo mother care that is a skin to skin contact. This will uh, improve the physical well being of the newborn and uh, better uh, survival rate of the newborn in a uh, cheapest and successful way and uh, they will facilitate much uh, bonding between the mother and the uh, newborn. As a result uh, WHO also recommended all the babies who are uh, delivering uh, below 2.5 kg or 2500 gram less uh, can be initiated and uh, work out this uh, Kangaroo mother care in order to improve the health of the newborn and uh, initiation of breastfeeding and early discharges whose the uh, babies are in a uh, cardio uh, pulmonary or hemodynamic stable is there. Okay. And uh, uh, we will see, you know, what is Kangaroo? Kangaroo, you all know, you all know maybe. Uh, this Kangaroo, what happened when the when she delivered the baby, the small immature baby, the Kangaroo will keep on her pouch, okay, that Kangaroo pouch. This will uh, make the uh, safety, uh, prevents the injuries uh, and uh, pro promote the warmth of the Kangaroo baby and this will uh, have a continuous uh, breastfeeding for the Kangaroo babies and health of the kangaroo babies also will be very much good. So they are living in a very cold climate. No, So it's the same like this measures we can apply in our uh, human being also in the hospital setting or after discharge in the home setting they can practice this. Uh, so we will see what are the indications. Indication normal uh, newborns are uh, uh, below the birth weight of uh, 2.5 kg and low birth weight uh, babies uh, like uh, below uh, 2000 gram or uh, 2, k, 2 kg babies or severely low birth like uh, 1500 gram also and uh, uh, if the uh, preterm babies if the gestational age is uh, less than uh, 37 weeks uh, on the birth time so they uh, that babies any sick babies uh, but uh, their hemodynamic stable is uh, uh, condition is stable means uh, these type of babies we can go with the uh, kangaroo mother care and uh, what are the uh, characteristics in kangaroo mother care we have to place the uh, newborn infant on the chest of the mother and this will uh, a continuous procedure for the mother from the hospital to the home uh, uh, home setup then next uh, they will start initiation of early breastfeeding and the maintenance of breastfeeding and maintain a bonding between the mother and the uh, baby and this should have a uh, follow up uh, follow up and uh, support should be there support who has to give support uh, family members has to give a continuous support for the uh, poor mother and uh, uh, next one is in a busy schedule of uh, uh, nursery or postnatal ward uh, this will minimize the uh, workload of the staff and uh, cost effective method so these are the major characteristics of uh, uh, kangaroo mother care uh, next we will see what are the components of Kangaroo mother care. Kangaroo mother care mainly uh, three components are there. One is Kangaroo position, second one is Kangaroo nutrition, third one is Kangaroo discharge. So first we will see Kangaroo uh, uh, position. So Kangaroo position in uh, definition I told the, the baby has to placed on the uh, mother's chest as a result of skin to skin contact. Okay, The baby can be wrapped. 
the position how the baby has to be taken and placed on the chest level in between the breast and uh, the baby has to be covered with the binder on the wrapper. So, when the uh, baby what is the position means upright or vertical position and the head has to be turned to one side in order to give a airway uh, passage and uh, less uh, uh, obstruction for the uh, newborn nose. And if you see one side the face is there, the baby can have a eye to eye contact with the mother and bonding and psychological support will be improved. And uh, next if you see where, when we are uh, putting the binder, we should be, uh, it should not be more uh, constricted to the uh, baby. And if you see the dressing, the mother can use the front open uh, dress uh, with their own culture and the baby can also go with the front open uh, sleeves. Uh, so, this uh, the baby has to be ma maintained a flexed position like a frog like manner, frog like position has to be maintained and uh, the hyper extension of the body and the neck has to be prevented by supporting the baby in a uh, bottom uh, by the hand of the mother. And uh, ne next you see uh, this will uh, pro uh, promote uh, the baby has to be keep, uh, baby's abdomen has to be placed on the epigastrium region of the uh, mother. Uh, then next uh, um, baby abdominal breathing should not be constricted and uh, the baby uh, uh, discomfort should not be there while we are uh, making this position. As an initial stage the nurse can monitor the uh, baby to find out the temperature is maintained or any uh, change of skin color is there or any discomfort is there. So when we are placing the baby, baby can be put uh, caps, socks and huggies can be uh, kept for the baby. So, this is the mainly position that is known as the Kangaru position. The newborn has to be placed on the chest of the mother in between the breast nicely they will get a skin to skin contact and no other discomfort or uh, obstruction or uh, constriction of clothing should be there and a binder or a wrapper can be covered around it and continuously Kangaru mother can be given. Uh, next one is Kangaru nutrition. Kangaru nutrition if the baby is uh, having the sucking and swallowing reflexes then the baby can go with initiation of breastfeeding. If the baby does not have the sucking reflex then next we can uh, go with uh, tube feeding or uh, spoon feeding according to the demand of the newborn. So that uh, uh, when the baby is placed in Kangaru position uh, that time only we can go with the two feeding uh, for the baby that is the breast milk can be expressed and two feeding can be given and uh, uh, next when when the baby is attaining uh, uh, the sucking and the swallowing reflex or uh, able to suck from the breast then we can initiate the breastfeeding practice the mother then ma ma maintaining and continuation of breastfeeding so this is known as the uh, kangaru uh, nutrition that is the exclusive breastfeeding for the uh, newborn. Then uh, third one is Kangaru discharge. So, Kangaru discharge means early uh, discharge and uh, uh, give a support to the mother So and follow up for the mother. So, early uh, discharge. So, small babies can be discharged when the baby is attaining weight, adequate weight that is 2.5 kg and maintaining the warmth and uh, uh, stable conditions. Uh, and the mother is having confidence in uh, taking care of the newborn and adequate skill has achieved uh, to promote the continuous Kankaru uh, mother care then we can uh, discharge uh, then we can uh, discharge from the hospital and we have to advise the mother regarding the follow up. So, uh, once, a, uh, once a week or two weeks once she can come and uh, check the uh, baby's conditions and check the weight of the baby has increased or uh, not. So, like that they can do the follow up and we have to give an advice for the women and we can give a advice to the family members to support the women in order to take care of the baby. It has it, it will be a continuous process. The mother has to keep the baby for 10 to uh, 8 to 10 hours continuously. So, the family members has to give a support for the mother. So, these are the main three components comes under the Kangaru care. Kang, uh, Kangaru uh, nutrition, Kangaru position, the next Kangaru discharge. Next we will detail is see about what are the benefits. Benefits one is benefit to the newborn baby, uh, then next benefit for the mother, benefit for the family members, benefit for the hospital and benefit for the nation. So first we will see benefit for the baby. Baby is uh, physiological well-being of the baby will be achieved. Uh, psychologically, uh, emotionally baby will have an attached to the mother. 
and cardio pulmonary uh, status will be improved mild respiratory uh, distress uh, uh, such as apnea and uh, oxygen uh, supply will be increased when the baby is in a kangaroo position and initiation of breastfeeding and growth of the baby will be improved and thermal regulations and prevent the cold stress neurological uh, behavior of the newborn will be increased that is a uh, neuroprotractor uh, the electrical imp neuroelectrical impulses will be increased sleep pattern will be uh, increased for the newborn and prevention of falls and injuries and uh, prevention of infections uh, and gi tract uh, 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 activity will be improved for the uh, newborn. So, there are uh, many physiological and the emotional psychological uh, benefit is there for the newborn and early discharge successful growth can be uh, maintained, adequate weight can be uh, maintained for the newborn. So, these are the benefits that comes under the newborn. Next, we will see what are the benefits of the mother. Benefits of the mother, uh, mother will be always stressed. So, while giving the uh, uh, Kangari mother care, her stress level will be increase, uh, decreases. She will become the primary caretaker for the uh, preterm babies or the newborn babies and uh, she will be psychologically benefited. More uh, initial bondings and uh, uh, this will be there. She can give a uh, uh, continuous uh, breastfeeding for the uh, babies. She will be satisfied and her uh, uh, skills of taking care of the baby will be improved. So, these are the uh, benefits for the mother. Then next what is the benefit for the family members? Socioeconomically it will be uh, cost, cost will be less comparing to placing in an incubator and uh, they have a psychological uh, uh, connections or a bonding between the uh, baby with the family members and uh, early discharge of uh, uh, baby from the hospital also benefited to the family members and they can give a care for the babies. Uh, next one is a benefit for the hospital. Hospital, it is a cost effective method and less use of uh, incubator and less uh, staff is uh, needed for the uh, procedure. And uh, 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 if you see this will have a good moral and uh, good care can be given and good counseling can be given for the mothers and uh, uh, early discharge from the hospitals. Uh, decreases the uh, disease condition of the newborn and they can establish a follow-up uh, visits for the newborn. So, these are the uh, benefits for the hospital. Then next one is benefit for the nation. Ben benefit for the nation means uh, this will decreases the morbidity and mortality of the preterm babies and uh, less cost we can achieve a good care of the newborns in the uh, nations and uh, we can develop a good uh, uh, intelligence and uh, healthy newborns for the uh, future generation. So, these are the benefits of the newborn. Then next we will see what are the nurses role. Nurses role mainly first one is assessment. Uh, proper assessment is very much essential. Well, uh, correct position is there. No constriction of clothing is there. Uh, adequate uh, temperature is maintained from the mother and the uh, baby and the baby color is pink and how the temperature is, uh, whether the diaper is changing is needed and we can give an adequate counseling for the woman. Counseling regarding how to maintain the position and uh, how to bring the skills of uh, training of uh, kangaroo mother care and uh, after follow up also what are the visit the mother has to done and when she go for bathing then again she can come for continuing the kangaroo mother care intermittent kangaroo mothers come some babies they need compulsory incubator but in between they can give kangaroo mother care and feeding then they can place the baby in incubator or ventilator so like that uh, uh, teachings and counseling and we can give the family members they should give a support for the women to practice the kangaroo mother care in the uh, hospitals and the, in the uh, home setup also and duration initially the nurse can help the mother to practice one hour duration then change the conventional method as the mother will get the regular skills uh, she can go with the 8 to 10 hours duration of kangaroo mother care practice and this they can follow in the hospital also and discharge they can give an advice of uh, the baby is healthy weight 15 to 20 gram of weight should be increased per day and the baby is uh, sucking the breast milk properly and the baby is having adequate health prevention of infection maintained the warm then they can decide for discharging the baby from the hospital and they can give an advice for the women when to stop the kangaroo mother care the baby achieved weight 2.5 kg and the baby is discomfort while putting in a skin to skin contact and they are pulling out the legs 
they are crying uh, that time they can discontinue the kangaru mother care if they are advised by the hospital they can uh, uh, physician they can continue the kangaru mother care whenever needed uh, when the cold climate uh, anything is there so these are the uh, major uh, nursing assessment and nursing care that comes under the uh, kangaru mother care so today in this video we have seen about what is kangaru mother care uh, what is the history of kangaru mother care then what is the characteristics what is the components what is the benefits and what is the nurses role in kangaru mother care